Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's the next day, uh, for me at least. I don't know when this video goes out. Uh, I've recently had a very slow upload speed, so uh, yikes. Uh, cool. It's currently the 1st of September. Uh, this, yep. Here. Traces of artistry. Wait, wait, is there... Oh, Imaginarium Theater. Sure. I'll do that eventually. I should also probably... I haven't done dailies in a couple of days. So I should do them as well. I mean, I'm not gonna do them on video. Why is it pointing me over here? Or centering the camera here. That's weird. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Lumine is Animo. Do we want to proceed with that? Probably. I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, where is this Hieroculus? Under there or high up in the sky? It's under there somewhere. Sure. Uh, let's continue. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I had a full day of break, but sure. <laughs> Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. <laughs> you say that as if you use your stomach to see. Maybe she does. You never know. This is a weird entity. <laughs> oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Mmm. Did... We also eat the candy. Maybe that's the reason we couldn't resonate with Pyro. Hmm. Sus. Whoa, you're practically a walking cafeteria! <laughs> I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. Hell yeah. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? True. Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Yeah, just thinking about what happened with the Statue of the Seven. Uh, same here. Definitely something weird going on there. Like, why would that even happen? What ha what was different this time? Uh, I mean, obviously we already have so many elements, so yeah. But, uh... Is it because we can interact with Phlegiston and imbue ourselves into the Sora, uh, multiple sources. Hmm. Maybe? I mean, that's the only idea I have currently in mind. Who is the last new Pyro character? Arlecchino is probably the last new Pyro character to be released, but she already had that way before. Has there been any new pyro visions being handed down in recent times? I think the latest vision to be handed down in game is a hydro vision, which is very interesting. Uh, and before that was a dendro vision, at least from the ones we know. Hmm. Dendro isn't a runner. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. something don't you think yeah actually you know what it could be because our archon is different from the rest yeah okay you tell me different how well i heard that other nations archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods but Yours doesn't. Huh. Okay. Is... Ooh, an idea. Something akin to a phoenix, you know, death and rebirth. Yeah, that would fit the pyro theme. And 
that's not the case in Natland? Yeah. Not at all. Every Pyro Archon in Natland was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh. I mean, I know Venti said it was supposed to be a secret, but every vision holder can ascend into Celestia and become a god. So, like, yeah. We are the Allogene. Uh, well, not we, but you are one such case. You are an Allogene, or like they say, say in Japanese, you are a Genshin. <laughs> I don't know what they say in Chinese. Probably the Chinese name of this game, Yuanshin. Huh? A human serving as an <laughs> Archon? Is that even possible? A human ascending to the, the Divine Throne. That's kind of like what Farina did. But, um... Yeah, but Farina was faking it, so... You find it hard to believe too, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I was more thinking of the what Venti said way, way back. So, that's not normal then? Hmm. I guess I've just gotten used to how things are here in Natlin. I have no concept how rare it is for a human to ascend to godhood. Or quote unquote godhood. I guess in your cases they never ascend to anything, they just inherit the title of the Pyro Archon. Which makes me think that maybe there is currently like no actual, like you guys just have a representative like a temporary one to quote unquote claim the status but the actual pyro archon is currently dead and there hasn't been a new one born since well yeah discounting the ones you guys have selected or the ones who have been selected among you people Mm. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? I love the music back in the background. Also, what are these blue bubbles? <laughs> yeah, it really isn't easy. Like, do we know of any other examples other than Vanessa from the lore? And even that was kind of like... Why did she even... I mean, she did a lot of good and she was a great human, but like... Even in in the end, it's not like she did anything that crazy that we haven't done. I guess she liberated a place. Hmm. And I guess she didn't become an Archon Archon, she just ascended to Celestia. Sure, the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. Yeah, fair enough. We definitely need an audience, an audit with that person. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. Hmm. The statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Ooh. That's intriguing. Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Mm. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. Okay, well, I'm glad to be able to currently be speaking to the future Pyro Archon, uh, who holds a geovision. <laughs> so the contest is all about how strong you are. Mm, probably, but rather uh, to prove yourself to be worthy. That's right. We believe performance in battle is mm. the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Yeah, fair enough. And also, it's like the God of War is the title. So, yeah. Combat prowess must be a... Or even if... Yeah. Not, not that that uh, combat prowess be the number one or only priority but maybe a tactical mind or something that aids you greatly in you know fighting or competing com competing or something our current archon 
achieved an overwhelming victory. Mm. The result was obvious from the beginning. Okay. Do the new contestants have to win after winning the race then defeat or best the current Archon? Or do they just automatically change every time this contest is held? Don't just take my word for it though. Even the <clears throat> tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm I'm thinking more like the current Archon is the actual Archon rising back to power, but you guys just don't know it yet. But something has gone wrong or she hasn't fully acclimated to her power or something and we thus can't resonate with Pyro. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Mm. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just, if she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we've been able to hold conversations with each of the Archons, despite them being, you know, gods. So, I don't think them being a human will help that much in that regard of being able to hold a conversation, but uh, they might be more down to our level. Hmm. If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'd say it depends on how she feels about us, yeah. By the way, I have seen the... Uh, the, the, the Teyvat uh, chapter storyline preview thing from even before the game came out, question mark. So uh, I, I do remember the one line said in there. Uh, I'm not going to mention it out loud in case some people haven't yet seen it. So, but but I, I, I do have that line in my mind. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. Mm hmm. It'll all work out. He'll meet her soon enough. Hopefully. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Yeah, I've been eyeing on that thing in the background. Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislith. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Phlogiston, phlogiston, phlogiston. Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislith. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Phlogiston or phlogiston. Okay. So, soft G. Phlogiston. Sure. Chislith. Like a monolith, but uh, chiseled and way smaller. Okay, let me give it a try then. To disappoint, but only people from Natlin can use that power. <laughs> well, do I have a surprise for you? I am able to wield phlogiston. Ignite. I love that word choice. Wasn't one of the uh I, I haven't still haven't seen any of the okay there. Yeah. I still haven't seen any of the trailers, but wasn't one of the trailers titled Ignition or something? Uh, for Natlan. Uh, let me just get that. I want to drop all the way down. Okay. Oh! I mean, it's basically begging me to drop there. Okay, nothing else here. Uh... I mean, there's obviously stuff down there, but nothing beyond that. Oh, I could have... Ah, if I had... Yeah, that one source that... uh, Yep, that can wrap and hook that boy, that boy. Please recover phlogiston, uh, phlogiston, sure. Uh, do I need to collect them all? Or no, it was just if we didn't have a full... No, they are recovering. Okay. 
structure. Maybe I need to get them in certain order. It's a puzzle, maybe. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You can use it too. <laughs> that <How>? was a <laughs> that was a fun animation. It, I mean, it just came naturally, all in a day's work, all in a day's work indeed. That was amazing! I don't even know what to say. <laughs> we are a woman of many talents. <clears throat> uh oh, big boyo, big boyo. Can we infuse with them Wait, though? Look behind you. Something's coming. <laughs> what do we do? Is something after us? Should we get ready to fight? Yes. We're fine. We're fine. This here is Toto. Hello, Toto. Hi, you Toto. <laughs> it's me, Kachina. <laughs> Toto does not see us. Well, aren't we looking lively today? Do the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Chisel. <laughs> Almost pr not pronouncing the end part there. Chisel. Yeah. Oh, so it was just a friendly Saurian. Maybe. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. Hmm. I'm a bit scared when it comes to the Saurians because Genshin has a habit of taking some real life inspiration and this is the land of Pyro and like we all know what happened to the dinosaurs and meteorite is very much a fiery rock so like I'm kinda scared of what this game might want to do. But let's let's not go there now. That's just an idea brewing in the back of my mind. Okay, Toto is very uh, gentle and friendly. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. <laughs> Don't let his size fool you though. He's just a big softy. Aww. Also, what the hell is going on here? Is that a ship or some sort of weird disc it just here i don't know <laughs> yeah coming down to our level uh what does the crouching mean Get it. that's an invitation he's Ooh. offering us a ride i mean don't mind if we do sure about this? It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's huge! Yeah? What are you so scared of? You can fly. Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that then. Paimon will just float alongside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I was wondering, almost saying, wow. please let me stand on top. Is even better from up here. Yeah, I was like, the half... The higher the vantage point, the better Sure. I was, oh. Are you and Toto okay, close, fine. Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the cart we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Hmm. Oh, now you still. No, nope, never mind. Half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. Mm. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one, and even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. <laughs> nice. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. Cute. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Unloaded the humans there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look over there. That's our destination. The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Mm hmm. Sacred Flame. You can let us off here, Toto. The 
Thanks for the lift. Thank you. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, finally. Yeah, that was, that was a moving scene, so obviously they had to make the text auto. Uh, yeah, I was just happy that uh, we actually did what I was thinking, that we stood uh, on its head instead of... I, I was imagining that the game might make us sit on its back, and I wanted a really high vantage point, so I'm glad we are... Uh, uh, stood on its head with our feet and yeah uh, kind of an insane probably feeling to feed something that is very small and then just watch it grow gigantic over time can't imagine but uh, yeah yeah sure let's walk uh, I saw a uh, viewpoint but I don't think it's white along the path the sacred flame is indeed blue on the bottom and orange yellow ish on the top. That's true, especially <clears throat> considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto! Uh, bye bye, Toto, Toto. Toodaloo. Oh, they're back. Okay, uh, our second statue of the seven. And another Pyroculus. Maybe this one will go a bit smoother. Give me my power, please. No. Gameplay tutorial. Okay. Buried. Ooh. The children of Echoes are familiar with both mountain rock and solid phlogiston. As such, they and the earth-burrowing Tepetlisaurs are quite sensitive to the presence of things beneath the surface. If you detect something, try shaking it free of the earth. Sure. I assume it was like down here. Or do I need a Tepetlisaur to do it? Uh, I mean, obviously we got that because there's something nearby. That's a statue. Uh, can we transform into you? Yeah, thank you. Oh, we can even activate the statue with this. Uh, let me do it with Lumi first. Hmm. Nothing is popping up. Unless it was at the top here. Oh. It lost health even though it burrowed. Oh, it got health back. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh! That is funny. Wow. That gives me a better look at her. Or at the statue. I'm still curious about this red orb. Hmm. Long hair. Okay. Boom, Stadium of the Sacred Flame, a boss of some sort? Cool. Mm, might be needed to the both of the, uh, the new Natline characters. Oh, there was a second one too. Yeah, it's definitely off. You still can't get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Jeez, just what's, ro what's with the statues? Maybe it's just old and needs some maintenance, <laughs> I doubt. Uh, perhaps Natlan's just special. Mm. I assume we will, at by the end of the story, be able to use Pyro. Now that you mention it, it does sound like Natlan's constantly being 
been affected by the influence of the abyss. Could that be why? I have no idea where you drew that nugget of information from, but ah, uh, sure. My man hasn't got a clue. All right then. Yeah. Let me see. Do we transform out of it? Cannot interact while indwelling in a Saurian. Okay, they made a new thing for that. Um. Uh, big, both mountain rock and solid flagellation. Maybe it was more around there where he was standing. Oh, is it? No, that's just a, someone. Um, I mean, this thing looks suspicious. No. Wow. <laughs> no, that's just a bird. Oh, is it? Oh, that's just indicating. No? Yeah, it's indicating where I would land. No, it's not. It's a... Uh... Oh, that was a roll. I don't think we've ever done that. Yeah, it's shaking. Uh... There we go. I wonder if I can do that without being a Saurian. Okay. We can do that midair. That's funny. Okay. Figured that one out. <clears throat> uh, which path? This one. This one. And there was a boss there that I kind of missed. Okay, well, I'll check it later. It's somewhere down in the ravine. Hmm, this will bother me if I don't check it out. Mission? Ah, it's just for that. Of course it is. Um, sure. Oh, was the... The viewpoint might have been here, okay. Paint pockets. <laughs> to make all the paintings. That's fun. Hmm. Ngahue? Wayfinder. Okay. Up there. Sure. There's one of those statues we saw earlier. Oh, there's a second one too. Or a different one, but yeah. Okay. Lots of bucket, uh, buckets, uh, containers. Models. Good view. Of ooh, okay, that's cool. That's really cool. So it's more like a platform of um, well, a building area, living area. No, oh, of course I went the wrong way. Teleport and a viewpoint and a friend. They have. Flying squirrels, or whatever version that would be. Do I need to follow it because it's sparkling? Arena of glory and triumph. Hmm. Uh, nothing here, so I guess we just do that then. No, I. Th uh, even though it flew off like that, I think we should follow the road. Also, almost missed whatever that is, or is that just something I can transform into? Yeah, like a Tepetlisaurian or. Or is that one of the hook points? Or. That's a new enemy. Hello? I mean, I have to fight it. Okay. Are you an elemental creature or an ab abyss creature? Okay. Oh, it has a wider AoE than it indicates. An area of effect. Okay. 
cool. What if I just aim at you at range? Okay, cool. Overruled. First and rebuild. Here comes the catch. Quietly now. Oh, I've misplayed. Okay, it lost its shield and now it's very weak. There we go. Shard of a Shattered Will and Locus of a Clear Will. Very interesting. Cool enemy. Cool enemy. A reward on the road. Either or some sort of talisman or a ward or something. Uh, this is symbol. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Signaling something. Maybe I can't interact that with that yet. Something I can do late. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I need some Saurian power or yeah, not able to do anything with that yet. Or it's indicating a place in the world nearby, maybe. Okay, I'll worry about this stuff later when I'm exploring. I just want to check out the new enemy. Cool. I think that was our first actual enemy. Well, Saurians too, but like still. <clears throat> I love the jagged glyphs in the background. It really reminds me of Asim. Yeah, kinda. Hmm. Square looking symbols on the side. What is that? A new enemy, or... I have no idea. Orion's there. And a box on top of the pillar. Cool. Oh, this, this, uh, going across this bridge kind of gives me, what, uh, into a fortress of some sort, or uh, across a ravine. This gives me heavy vibes of Maiden Abyss. Yeah. <laughs> Nighttime. A hot air balloon? Question mark. <sighs> we made it. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to meet some friends here, but huh, I don't see them anywhere. Uh oh. Maybe they're not here yet. Maybe. Open your eyes, Slowpoke. Ugh, we've been here this entire time. I've already lost track of how long you've kept us waiting. What do you mean, a 2D sprite? <laughs> uh, 8-bit sprite pixel art whatever. <laughs> what? Hello? A chameleon? A jaw? A jaw? A jaw? Listen yeah. Here. Mulani's time you're wasting, but mine too! Mine! Kneesh and Mulani. What the heck? That's a strange looking Saurian. <laughs> or wait, isn't it even a Saurian? I have no idea. I somehow have a feeling that it's something like they tried doing graffiti and then imbued it with one of the powers here and it came to life. Take it down a notch, alright? You don't even know some of these people. Niche. Just because Kachin is too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. You have very pretty eyes. Also, I'm... Oh, you have... Uh, that kind of reminds me of the uh, pixel art Aja we just saw, but... Uh, your hair has symbol-ish 
things going on. You have the Kazuha stripe thing going on. Well, in, multi in multiple parts, so I'm not sure anymore. Uh, but these match your outfit here. But most in interestingly, you have the albedo thing going on. Well, not quite. Albedo has a singular diamond shaped mark and you have a line under that. But uh, yeah, immediately suspicious of you. <laughs> You do have incredibly pretty eyes, though. And what are you gonna do <clears throat> about it? <laughs> you think you're the oh. boss of... Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing? Bye-bye, Ajo. Or Ajo. <laughs> oh, that's a new expression. Or new right. motion. I've put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. That was fun. No worries there. That was a new expression from the Traveler. That was fun. Aw, you didn't have to do that. Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. Wait, what did you say? Aw, you didn't have to do that. Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. A haw, a haw. Okay. Molani? Well, he got what he deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. Hello, Molani. <laughs> Molani, there you are. Wait, what did you say? Mulalani? Listen here, you. It's not just Kanish and Mulalani's time you're wasting, but mine, too! Listen here, you. It's not just Kanish and Mulalani's time you're wasting. Yeah, you say Mulalani. Maybe that was just a mistake. Yeah, not Mulalani. <laughs> Niche and Mulalani. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Mm, very different eyes from Kanish. Hello, Paimon's Paimon! And I'm Lumine, a traveler. I'm here to win it. And this is Paimon, isn't it? <laughs> no, let's introduce ourselves. Although that would be funny. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. Yeah? I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Mm. Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. Oh, yeah. I mean, we knew that, but yeah. Mm. So you're saying you've been ditched again? Again, damn. <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Hmm. I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Mm. Hey now, there's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Right. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Sure. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? Yeah, do elaborate. The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. Oh. Okay, question mark. Immediately to anime come to my mind, uh, one of them being Dog Days, where there are real wars, but the wars aren't bloody. They're just, everyone turns into cute fluffy animals when they quote-unquote die. And the other one is, uh, in a similar sense, but a very, very different vibe, uh, the vexations of a shut-in vampire princess, or, uh, Kyuketsuki Hikikomari no Mummun, uh, where... There's also proxy wars, or actual wars, and people die, but they are revived afterwards. Uh, I'm wondering if it's one of the two, or if it's actual wars and people just die, period. Mm, but maybe, uh, since it's a competition in name, uh, I'm thinking more like <clears throat> just a proxy thing where nothing serious goes on, but you say it's a real war, so... Curious. A war against our eternal enemy. 
the abyss. Ah. Uh, okay. Hmm. So not against each other. The abyss. So they're here too. Hmm. What do you mean they're here too? Didn't you just say that there's abyssal soft powers everywhere here? <laughs> Though maybe that's uh, that line was more like if you go wander into the area and witness all abyss, all kinds of abyssal things, and you know it wasn't the voice line, so yeah, not part of the main quest. Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? Hmm. That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. <laughs> the pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes. And those warriors fight to repel the abyss in defense of our homeland. Yeah, that makes sense. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natlan. Hmm. Isn't it dangerous? Though, yes it is, but that's why they choose the strongest one. Yes, but that's the nature of war. Mm -hmm. Danger comes with the territory. Resisting the abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. Mm. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. Hmm, okay. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection, mm. which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Yeah. Okay. Phoenix idea is bubbling to surface. Resurrect people, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so, sorry, the reason I, why I'm not surprised is, but, uh, yeah, I guess it's fair to say at this point, uh, that, that was the one thing mentioned in the, um, uh, uh, Tavet preview when it came to Natlan. Something about, uh, resurrection. Yep, so it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. I don't remember in what context it was set in, I just remember the word Resurrection. Maybe it was the title of one of the quests. Hmm. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Sure. Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? I mean, it seems she is, and we would love to help her, but, you know, it is what it is. We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. Mm -hmm. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed chaos. Mm. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. Mm. This gives me another idea uh, from another story, where, uh, which could fit with Kachino very well. And, well... Uh, I think that was something that went on with Venti too here in Genshin, where, well, here during the Archon War, War, wasn't Venti kind of the one who didn't fight that much? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, another story that I had in mind was uh, there were a bunch of gods who were fighting and everyone ended up killing each other, but, and, but the one who won was the one who didn't participate in the fighting at all, so they just survived until the end. Oh mm. so, yeah, you never know, Kachina. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone <clears throat> to watch your back. Ah, okay, you were going that route. Okay, fair enough. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Please, yes, please. Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... Mm. You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> Look at you, mind reader. <laughs> so, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? Mmm. <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. Hell yeah. I bet our new friends here <clears throat> will agree that two's always better than one, right? Mmm. Oh, you mean us? 
Things are definitely less lonely with Paimon around her. It's nice having Paimon by my side. Yeah, things are definitely less lonely. Yeah. Having been together with your brother your entire life and then being separated and the brother not wanting to come back immediately to your side. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Two is definitely better than one. <laughs> It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlan. No one fights alone. Mm. But what if I drag you down? Based on what little I've uh, known Mulani, I don't think she cares. Listen to yourself. You'd be hard pressed to find someone in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. Oh yeah? That confident are we, huh? <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. Mm. Uh, still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely going to think of us as cowards. Mm. The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? Hey. It's not like they left us any other option. Though again, uh, again, uh, this idea, rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? Uh, about cowards. I, I think this carries more weight in Natlan than in any other area because, you know, they are all about heroes and, you know, heroes have to be, well, they have their own stigma and uh, air about them. So, yeah, being a coward isn't, <laughs> isn't probably uh, the best thing to be called, especially in Natlan. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Mm. Oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Or your teammates. Uh, just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. Uh, sure. <clears throat> there we go. Meeting Mulani and Kinesh. Polar Swift Wyob Manifestation. Wyob Manifestation. Okay. The Wyob worship, worshipped by the various tribes of Natlan manifest themselves in the form of these obsidian totems. In battle, the Wyob Manifestation will deploy its arena, mm -hmm, the AoE, a moment of trial, creating a shield for itself and absorbing the elemental energy of all characters in the arena. Ah, characters in the arena deal greatly increased damage, that's cool. If the shield is broken before the arena expires, they will also regain a large amount of energy, cool. However, however, if they fail to break the shield, the manifestation will generate a barrier based on the value of remaining elemental shields. Cool. That's a fun mechanic. Sonka Yuk. Yuk Bell. Yuk Bell, maybe? I don't know. Cool. In the arena we go, I guess. Dot dot dot. You feel like a character who has a quest. But you don't have a quest marker, so. Hmm. By. By Ejida. That's a different Saurian. Uh, should we take a look or should we... Oh, oh, we need to go that way anyways. Let me take a quick look at this side. Zana? Cool hat. Namaka? I see. Uh, oh, it's somewhere there. Huh. Here. What if I just drown myself here? Right at the moment. Okay. Can't get through this. Maybe it opens. It does. Uh, shoe when fair. You're just doing graffiti. <laughs> cool. Uh, can we do anything with that? No. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here and there too. Okay. Some curious marker there. Okay. 
Uh, I think we'll explore that later. But cool, there is an inside area. Otrua. That goes to the other side. Okay. That's the arena down there. Oh. This. Okay. A green outfit, huh? <clears throat> this is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. I'm sure. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Ah, uh, I mean, I tried to look at everything. Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? There were all sorts of symbols on them. I, sorry, I didn't point them out, even if I noticed them. Those are our tribal flags. Mm. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natland, okay. including the Children of Echoes. Yeah, Children of Echoes having the, uh, the, the, the Tepetlisaurus symbol. Okay. That's a different, that's the Yoshi, I know, I think, maybe, it feels like. <laughs> Why the sudden tour guide routine? Oh, you know. <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Mm-hmm, I don't mind. Thank you, Kachina. Fair enough. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. Hmm. Which one was the Yumkasaur? Yumkasaur was either the uh, big boys or the Yoshis. My friend Moalani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. Mm. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. Okay, cool. I assume the Soros. Sorry, we saw at the pool there were belong to that area mostly. Ooh, I like this music here. Also blue sand. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. Flower Feather Clan, Masters of the Nightwind, and Collective of Plenty. Let me guess these are gonna be the main antagonists in the race. Masters of the Nightwind. <laughs> collective of Plenty sounds... Ooh, I love this music. Yeah, the Collective of Plenty sounds very intriguing. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Mm-hmm. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief <laughs> and welcome you on behalf of the people of the Springs. Sure. Mulani, you're back. We were just talking about you. My man is just vibing there. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. <laughs> they probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. Mm. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, and they mm. recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. <laughs> sure. Hello there. Here to register for the <laughs> pilgrimage? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Sibol. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? Hmm. I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. Yeah. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. She's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what she can do. Oh, you have fish eyes. That's funny. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. Hmm, fair enough. Can we cue in the Archon making an exception for us? The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. Contending fire? This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Mm. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Hmm, I see. Invasion from the abyss. Oh, uh. Hmm. There's this. 
Ah, uh, I'm not gonna say it because I know one of my friends is watching this and he hasn't seen that one trailer yet. And I'm not, not, not gonna say it. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. Mm-hmm. That was the initial purpose, actually. Mm. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. That's a nice detail to have, yeah? Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Mm -hmm. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Mm. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. It's it's fine. I, I understand the importance of this event. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. Yeah, thanks. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. <laughs> Bill, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. If the Ode of Resurrection exists, why do you have to go through the process of selecting warriors? I mean, to avoid bloodshed, or maybe there's a price to pay for the resurrection or something. Also, I <clears throat> I think people have been theorizing this ever since 2.2, uh, I think, uh, in Azuma Finale. But like, or I know at least I have, is that uh, Senior was kind of just slain, but she did have a pretty detailed model and even a weapon on her. So like, people were theorizing and I was theorizing that what if she just is resurrected in Natlan? You know? Pretty please? Bring Signora back? Yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah. You read Paimon's Mind Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? Mm. You know, since you can bring them back to life. I mean, it's... Obviously not realistic. Realistic to have everyone battle. You need some people in logistics and uh, in other areas to keep maintaining the, you know, how civilization works as a whole, so that everything doesn't collapse behind you while you're at war. The power of resurrection has its limits. Mm. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. Ah. Okay, well... Unlucky then. That's the theory with Signora. Shot down. Uh, wait, what was her real name? Uh, it was... It was a very long name. Uh, is this a mistake to Google anything about Signora? I think it is, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, Signora. Real name. Genshin. It's Rosaline Kruska Loewefalter. Yeah. That doesn't sound a Natlan-ish name at all. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the abyss. Hmm. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the abyss in battle. Mm -hmm. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Guys, 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 guys. That's Signora's exact line. Well, no, not exactly, but that's very close. I think. Isn't that very close to what was said in the Inazuma finale? Hello? No. I don't... Was that? No, I, I think I'm mixing something. I think that was from the uh, Tevat chapter storyline preview thing. Maybe that was from there. Yeah. Only those who triumph hmm. over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death but also the destruction of your ancient name, mm. preventing it from ever being inherited again. 
I see. So it can be destroyed. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this also is the reason why people aren't just immortal in Natlan. They need to triumph over the abyss. Okay. The tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten. And an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten. And an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. But why would the victors need to be revived? Mm. Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? <laughs> you have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Yeah? Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. Mm. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Okay, okay. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Hmm. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, <clears throat> the price of failure is still very high. Fair enough, fair enough. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams. To instill in us the importance of working together. Sure. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. Hmm. That might hit hard because, uh... Uh, at least for Lumion, because because uh, Ether is kind, our our sibling is kind, of determined on doing things, quote unquote, alone. Uh, he obviously has the entire backing of the Abyss, uh, but still, it's still kind of doing things alone. Mm. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Mm-hmm. Well, that <laughs> no axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Fair enough. Danger is always present, but together we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Ah, oh, this background music is so well timed with this inspirational line here. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. Hmm. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wild. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. The realm of Wyob. Hmm. Something tells me we are eventually gonna go there. Which might mean some have some scary implications. Will we be defeated in battle and quote unquote die? <laughs> the realm of the Wyob? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natland? Hmm. Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very mm. few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. Wait, what's the first place where we were dragged to against our will to find our little one? Uh, was that perhaps Wyab? Hmm. We call this realm the Night Kingdom, a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. Yeah, it didn't feel like a liminal space, it felt like a very real area. Hmm, okay. Night Kingdom. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Hello, aha. Uh -huh. Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. It's fun, he's like 3D. <laughs> Still, despite being a 2D sprite. <laughs> wow. Do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon lord Kahula How. <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. Almighty dragon lord Kahula Ha. Don't tell me this is <laughs> this is the actual Elemental dragon, ancient dragon of Natlan. <laughs> I mean, that would be a fun twist. 
If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Mm -hmm. huh. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. Yeah? In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Can I have that hat? Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon. Hey, praise be the Pyro Archon. Family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> Aussie? An Australian here? No, I know it's spelled with A-U, not A-O. Evol? Get a good rest, everyone. I wish you all the best in tomorrow's competition. Thanks. Sure. Uh, I would still like one of those hats. Okay. Uh, Temple of Pax. Potato. <laughs> uh, should we just leave it here? I think this is a good stopping point before the big battle. Uh, not this place. It's uh there or yeah, it's inside there. The way back there. Way back there. What? Mawe and Moneto. Moneto. Monetu? Moneto? Monedo? Hmm. Oh yeah, if uh, I find any books, I'm I'm gonna read all of them. I, I love all the books I've read. Every, every book? Most of the books in this game so far, so looking forward to reading, getting more lore in Natlan. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think we are gonna leave it here and uh, continue on next time. Um, I might record more today, I'm not sure, we'll see. Actually, uh, yeah, I might be in a slightly different position because yeah, I'm gonna go do uh, dailies <laughs> of the video of recording. Because I don't think uh, people really care about that because this is not a full blind playthrough and uh, because I've already completed most of the content and uh, I've... I've seen these dailies probably a million times. Yeah. Eat and learn emergency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Right. No Patreon early access for this one. Uh, cool. See ya.